Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's figure out how to find the area of a composite figure. Let's get started. Video, let's go over how to find the area of this composite figure. And you have a rectangle, and then we're going to need to subtract out this semicircle. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the area of the rectangle, and then we're going to have the area of a semicircle. Area of a rectangle is length times width. So it's pretty much given. We have 12 times 6, and remember, it's in centimeters, and that equals 72 centimeters, okay? Now what we will do is we need to find the semicircle. Well, we have a circle, a semicircle, and we know that the diameter, the diameter is going to be 6. So let's go ahead and set this up. We have 1 half, and let's use uh, 3.14 for pi. And then the we have the diameter, and the diameter is just half, the, excuse me, the radius is just half the diameter. So the radius is going to be 6 divided by 2, which equals 3. So we're going to have 1 half pi, 3.14, times the radius, which is 3 squared. Okay? When you multiply 3.14 times 3, and 3 is 3 squared is 9, you get 28.26. And remember, we have to multiply this by 1 half. When we multiply 28.26 times 1 half, we get 14.13. Okay? So now all we do is subtract those. 72 minus 14.13 is 57. 7 and centimeters, excuse me, area is always squared. So it's n squared. Let's look at another example. Okay, what are we going to do with this one? This one, we have two semicircles that we're going to have to subtract, and we have a rectangle, okay? And the dimensions of the rectangle are 8 and 4. So let's get started. The length is 8 and the width is 4, and so 8 times 4 is 32. And again, we're in centimeters. Now for the semicircle, we're going to go 1 half, and let's use pi, which is 3.14. The diameter is 4. Remember, the diameter is 4. So we're going to use half of that, which is 2, and we're going to square that. Okay. When you multiply 3.14 times 2 squared, you get 12.56. And we're going to multiply that by 1 half. And when you do that, you get 6.28. But remember, we have two of these. We have 1, 2. So we're going to multiply this by 2. And when you multiply 6.28 times 2, you get 12.56. Now all we do is subtract 32 minus 12.56. And that's going to equal 19.44 centimeters squared. And that is the area of this composite figure. 